What's going on guys, Matt Everett here with Lethal Camaro and today's an exciting day because I'm going down to pick up my brand new hood for my 2016 Camaro. Now, a lot of you guys know what the stock hood looks like. Here it is right here. It's not a bad hood, but the one thing I wasn't too fond of is the lack of a true cowl. You know, there's a little formation here, but it's, it's baby, it's tiny. And I wanted something more I don't want to say exotic, but more uh, pronounced, I guess would be the proper word. And with that, 6LE Designs came out with their um, Scorpion style hood, which mimicked or was a lower profile of what the Copo Camaro has. And I really liked it. I really like the way it looks. I think the lines come down to the front really good. Um, a lot of people question how it looked because it kind of it bulges up right here, but it lines up with this line really nicely on both sides and I'm super excited. And it also has the nice cowl. I'm going to do the center area of the hood black, white all the way around and go from there. So let's go down and pick it up. I can't fit a hood in the trunk of a Camaro, so I'm taking the Suburban. I got my trusty root beer. If you guys out there haven't had Henry Weinhardt's root beer, try it out. It's really good. Clear this stuff out. Okay, car seats down, a couple blankets, root beer in hand. Do this. Almost forgot, seat belt. Safety first. Guess we kinda need the address, huh? We are, so the hood was purchased from 6LE Designs in a uh, great company. Mark over there has a uh, really good operation going, but he worked directly with RK Sports on his hood design. And so RK Sports is actually making the hood, and if any of you guys know RK or have never heard of them, they are probably one of the most well-known companies out there for making superior fiberglass products. And I think they make a lot more than just fiberglass. I know they do carbon fiber and other stuff like that, but um, they are known for making top-notch products. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard a bad saying or any comments about their products. They're always top-notch. They take the time to make them right. And that's why I had to wait so long. If you guys remember, I posted my new hood video like four weeks ago or something like that, five weeks ago. So super excited to go down and pick this up. There we go. 4.2 miles away, which is awesome. I was able to bypass shipping fees. And I'm, oh, they're wrong driveway, damn it. Oh wait, no, it is the right way, I think. We're here. We're here. Whew, that resin smell. You definitely can smell this is the right place. Is Caesar around? Yeah. Is he hiding? He's hiding. <laughs> How's it going, man? Mm -hmm. So, just over here, you can see a glimpse of the new hood. There it is. That's that, that's my hood, that's gonna go on my car. So we've seen the shop, we've seen what they could do. They got lots of products. If you guys are interested and you don't have a Camaro, you have any other car, they make products for just about, God, I don't know how many cars. I know they got Mustangs, I know they got Challengers, I know they got Camaro, fifth gen, fourth gen, as Caesar said, but that's all great, but we wanna see the hood, right? So this is the 6LE Design hood. Um, you can order it from 6LE Design directly. Uh, he did work with the fine folks here at RK, and uh, you could just see the design aesthetic. It brings the cowl back to the 6th gen, which is the primary thing that caught my attention. The secondary object is the centerpiece. You know, this center area here, I'm gonna make black so it really pops, and we'll just actuate the sides of the cowl design. And you can also see, and I don't have my car right here right now to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but you could see they kept the design lines coming down with the stock design that Tom Peterson did. And I just, I think it looks really clean. So, and again, I know new hoods and designs are all subjective and you know, everyone's gonna have an opinion, but for me, this hood does it for me. Um, I know RK has their own unique hood for the sixth gen. Uh, I know a lot of people really like that one from what they've seen on their white car. Some sweet images posted recently on Instagram. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description, check it out. But um, this hood design again, it's the 6LE design. You can go to 6ledesign.com. Mark over there is doing some great work. And uh, it's just, it's really clean style looking hood. Can't wait to 
finish getting it prepped and painted, get it on the car. It will definitely be on the car primered for a little bit, so I'm gonna be ghetto ride for a little bit, but whatever. The, the things you do to make sure that uh, you know everything cures properly and all the heat flexing and all that stuff takes place. So um, actually, could we see the bottom side just so I can show them what that looks like? So on the other side, the bottom, you can see it, it is using the factory style mounts. Um, breathe out the back end. The front end is functional. Air will get through to your engine bay from there. So if that's something uh, that you're looking forward to, um, but you can just see in, in general, the hood design's really nice. And the way that it's set up is it will still seal with my Rotofab setup. So um, we all know I'm going down the road of a Pro Charger anyways, so that's not going to matter, but for the time being, it will. Okay guys, we picked up the hood. It's looking good. Um, yeah, going to get it back. So now I'm headed over to my brother-in-law's shop to see if the paint guy and everyone's there so I can drop the hood off and start getting it prepped and primered. So that is the next step for right now. And uh, let's head over and go do that. swap so change of plans for the day originally I thought I was just gonna drop the hood off at uh, the shop to get looked at and set up but they actually want to fit it on the car today so they can start block and sanding and getting it all ready to go for proper paint and everything else so headed down to go do that and uh, let's get her done so for the work here guys I am down at Young Guns Auto Salon in Temecula California this is my ex brother-in-law's shop he's done all my work for my car to date that I can't do in my garage because I don't have a lift. Uh, and then uh, one of his uh, partners, are, I believe he subleases out space, J JM Designs. I'm gonna tag it on Instagram. Um, but if you guys are interested or wanna get more detail on any body work, car work, painting, all that kind of stuff, let me know. I'm gonna put links down in the comments below and phone numbers and stuff. But uh, you know, as always, help support um, shops local shops a lot of them do really good work you just got to find the good ones and my ex-brother-in-law shop is a really good one they take really good care of your car and they care they're car guys um, like I've mentioned before this guy works on K cars he works on resto mods the stuff he has in his garage right now is impeccable so check him out so down at the shop they are removing the stock hood and then we will bring over the new hood to see how it fits you can see the hood has two gas struts and then there's two bolts on either side. And that's basically all that's holding this hood in place. Not a lot. Okay guys, we have the hood on the car. Now it's time for the long drawn out process of letting it heat cycle. Now I've talked about this a couple times, but basically you could tell when the resin of fiberglass is still fresh because you can smell it clearly. And basically you want that to cure, you want that to set, you want it to be good to go before you start painting and doing all that junk. So what we're doing now is we have it on the car. Let me actually show you the car. So it's on the car now. We're gonna, I'm gonna drive around like this for about a week or so and uh, let the heat, um, you know, heat cycle it through so it's gonna get hot, it'll cool off, hot, cool off, 
uh, you know, put some miles on the car. Let it really uh, breathe and see how it works. But you can see the hood on the car already, not even painted, looks really good already. My opinion, you know, you guys may hate it or love it, but I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. Oops. So that's where we're at. And um, yeah, so next process is gonna be dropping the car off, getting the hood um, blocked and all ready, and then they're gonna go ahead and paint it. Uh, that's all gonna happen within the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we'll see, hopefully the hood will be done before Christmas. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be, um, but yeah. So thanks for joining me in this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button, support the channel. But if not, likes, comments, shares, always appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you on the road.